have a monkey in your pants? Right guys, how's it going? This is the first of the new MTSC SNES Quest videos. I think that's what I called it, MTSC SNES Quest. The fuck was that noise? Anyway, let's continue. For those, oh fuck, that clicks, that beeps. I'm not starting again, so we'll just bash on. Like I say, episode one of MTSC SNES Quest. For those of you who have maybe been a subscriber for a little while, you knew I was doing a SNES quest, or SNES completion quest is what it was called, the long title of it. Basically my aim of the game was to <clears throat> collect every single SNES PAL game. Now, all very good, um, I got to about 82 games, some reasonably rare ones in there, but what pissed me off the most was the fact that they didn't stack on the shelf very well at all. Um, and I was, hold on, I should have been more organised, but it's lie. And I was um, going to look at getting these universal cases for them, but it was about £100 for 100 cases. So it was adding a wee bit of cost onto it. And obviously, the PAL SNES games can be quite pricey compared to the American NTSC games as well. Don't get me wrong, some American games can be pricey. For example, F Zero there it might cost you a wee bit more than what you could probably pick it up for a UK PAL game, but in the long run, it'll work out cheaper collecting the American games. So for the PAL one, for the PAL SNES quest, I was looking at collecting every single PAL game. The American one, there's even more games. Let me have a look exactly, tell you how many more games. There's 570 something, I think, for the PAL one. And the American games, there are, there are, there are 816. Never gonna happen in a million years. Some of the really, really, really rare um, NTSC games you cannot even find for sale um, so it's not going to happen so this isn't a completion quest or anything like this I'm just going to see how many I can get if uh, five years time if I'm close to completing it I doubt it we'll see how it goes but I'm more with a pal snares quest I, I basically if I found a bundle of games cheap I bought them even if they were shite games so for the NTSC for this now I'm not really going to buy just random shite and whatever, I'm more concentrating on decent quality games. Um, I do still have a bundle of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 games or something to sell for the PAL, um, PAL SNES games. Danny from 16-Bit Brothers, I know you messaged me, I will get a list back to you what games are available. Um, Anybody else who's interested in a list of what PAL games I've still got for sale, give me a shout. There's a bit of drips and drabs, nothing amazing. A couple of decent games maybe, but I'm looking over there because they're sort of sitting just off camera down here on the chair. But um, <coughs> yeah, anyway, let's do the customary wiggle in the seat and we'll get on with it. So, like I say, it's been a wee bit of a while to get this um, out, I should say. Some games are bought from France, some games are bought from Germany, some games are bought from... The UK, a lot of the games that I've got are bought from America and they come in dribs and drabs. So for that reason, I'm basically going to limit each episode, SNES Quest, NTSC SNES Quest, episode to five games. Uh, put a wee bit more in, effort into it and whatnot, um, as you'll see as the video progresses with the editing and whatever, etc. My voice is fucking, fucking going tits up here. But we'll just continue all the same. Um, and obviously in the PAL SNES quest, or the original SNES quest, I'm probably confusing a lot of you. Um, there was a counter up here, <coughs> excuse me, that said how many games I had and the price and the percentage and whatever. Um, I might still have a, a just a game counter up there. Uh, it says one out of 800 and however many games I've got and whatnot, and it'll, it'll track on. So you'll see it going up as the episodes continue. How frequently will the episodes be? You just have to wait and see. I don't know. It depends when games come in. I have got quite a few games just now, but like I say I'm just limiting them to five per video. And what else? Another thing I need to point out. I've done a little SNES Quest, NTSC SNES Quest, um, work in progress video, and it had a little clip with Earthbound on it. It had a price on it. And a few people pointed out you can get that game cheaper. First of all, I don't think you can. And um, you got to take in consideration postage and customs on a lot of these games as well. So the price that you see on that is the price that I paid for it. 
you might be able to get it marginally cheaper some games, but it's the price that I've paid for it. It's up there, it's not the golden rate, it's just the price that I paid for it. And the rarity, where it says a number out of 12, where I've got that from, um, me and another fellow YouTuber use this app. It's called SNES Collect. Um, I think you probably won't be able to see it. There you go, on the iPhone. Basically lists all the games um, and whatnot. And it gives you rarity rating and it, it's updated frequently and whatnot. So that's where I get the information from. So we're five minutes in, spoken a lot of shit. Welcome to the NTSC SNES Quest. And there's a bit of a theme with this episode. They're all... RPGs and they all happen to be the five realist games that I currently own for the NTSC SNES. Can I stop calling it NTSC SNES? Americans will probably get upset. I know it's called the SNES, but you know what I'm saying anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first game that I'm going to show you is um, we'll go from five to one, five being the least rare and one being the most rare out of the top five rare games that I've currently got, if that makes sense. So the first game that I've got is Final Fantasy 3. Now, it's a game that I was aware of that's supposed to be a really, really, really good RPG game. I've not played it yet, but it's supposed to be really good. Um, it was a game that I was looking at getting as a repo cart. Um, but like I said, it's supposed to be one of the better Final Fantasy games, one of the better RPG games for the SNES. So, Final Fantasy 3 looks decent, and will I ever get around to playing it? Hope so. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. All these RPGs are going to take a fucking shitload of time, but first on the list, Final Fantasy 3. <clears throat> Now the second game, or the fourth rarest game that I currently own, just go with it, alright? I'm a bit rough. I'm not I'm not rough as I've been drinking, just rough at this just now. Fourth game that I've got is Terra Enigma. Now, Terra Enigma is a PAL only release game, so this is obviously a reproduction card. But um, it's bizarre considering I did buy this for the PAL and it cost a lot of money. Reproduction card, um, so so, it wasn't a shit ton of money, but decent, decent RPG game. And um, I'm glad to have it as a re reproduction card as well because it's not like there's going to be hundreds and thousands of copies of this out and about, and people that have probably got it are probably going to keep hold of it. So again, this is one of the top RPG games on the SNES. Like I say, the SNES is known for their RPG games and I am happy to have Terra Enigma. Now the next game that I've got, the third rarest game I currently own, is an RPG game that is an NTSC release only, never released on PAL. Um, again, it's supposed to be really good. I've played it very, very briefly. I did own it as a reproduction cart um, when I was collecting the PAL games. But I'm very happy to have this game. It was one of the few games that I knew I desperately wanted when I started collecting for the NTSC side of things. And it is Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars.
Like I say, it looks like a really, really good game. Played it briefly, played play, play, play it briefly on an emulator years ago as well, because obviously I knew it wasn't available in this country. Made by Squaresoft, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, it looks pretty decent to be fair. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm very, very glad that I've got that in the collection anyway. Now, the next game is the second most rarest game that I currently own. Pretty pricey, NTSC only release. Um, another fellow YouTuber recently picked this up as well. And the next game I'm going to show you, but I thought, which I thought was quite funny because he done a video on that same day. They came in the post basically. But um, really glad to have this. Um, looks really decent game. It's supposed to be a really decent game. Highly regarded as well. But the game in question is. Focus, you fucker. Chrono Trigger. Like I say, not a, not a cheap, cheap game, but really glad to have it. Um, not released in PAL territory, if you like. So, good game. Now, the rarest game that I own is a game that um, I've, I've started to play it. Uh, I played it very briefly on an emulator again years ago. Um, it seems to be, is it a good game? I assume it's a good game, but it seems to have escalated. It's not really rare, but it's quite pricey. But saying that, you, if you go on eBay or whatever, again, you won't find that many copy of it, copies of it for sale. Not shit tons and shit tons, but um, it's more pricey than rare. But at the same time, it's my rarest game. But um, rated eleven out of twelve, and that is for rarity, I should say. There we go. Lights skidding in the way. Earthbound. say guys that game looks really good um, really really happy to have it I knew as soon as I went over to collect them for the NTSC games that I was like this was the first game I wanted and it was the first game that I bought as well um, I am going to get stuck into this it looks really good um, and like I say I, I am genuinely really happy to have this game so guys that's the first episode of the NTSC SNES quest do I have to keep fucking calling it that can I somehow shorten it don't you know? But um, yeah, five amazing, amazing games. Really happy to have them. My five rarest games at the moment, but I thought I'd put them all together in this video because they were all RPG games as well. But like I was on about, look how nice they stack on the shelf. And they've all got nice end labels. Oh, beautiful. But um, that's me, guys. Five games now for the. For the I have to keep saying it, NTSC SNES. I'm going to have to shorten that somehow, aren't I? As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If there's any games that you think this is a, a North American release only and I should definitely own, let me know. Be interested to see what games are out there that I may be unaware of. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll please join me on the next episode of the SNES Quest FTSC in brackets. Do you have a monkey in your pants?